Hey everybody, it's Mark Ruggiero here, Clark Commando 1983, and it's uh, May 21st, and it's about 2.30 in the morning, and uh, well, I'm up, I got some energy, so I thought I'd do this little fireside chat, it's been a little bit, um, and I just, look at this, I need a haircut. I'm going to get one. My son's coming. My wife's got chemo later today, and my son's coming over, and I'm going to ask him to bring me get a haircut, get rid of these wings, maybe actually shave, and thanks for anybody who's been watching. I'm slowly recovering from my infection, and I'm just glad to be here still. So, fireside chat. What's coming? What's going on? Well, I just did part seven for my unconditional surrender replay, learn to play. Nice little short video. If you enjoy that, please like and subscribe. Um, I don't know how to explain this. I actually joined the, uh, you know, I mean, I'm just being honest, probably going to be, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but I don't know that I'll live the year. So, but I went ahead and uh, joined the Battlefield Trust. Um, a little bit of a tiny little piece that I could do to help preserve our Civil War battlefields. Also join the uh, Antietam Institute, I think it's called. And uh, I joined it. There's a level you can join at where you get a book and stuff. Like, I need another book, right? Like, I need a hole in the head, but hey. So... Um, Honestly, just been having a lot going through my head as I've been pretty sick last couple weeks. That, you know, seems like, but I'm slowly getting there. Um, I, you know, I've been having a great time and a sad time, kind of, but, you know, going through my games, deciding what am I going to sell? What, you know, what, what do I want to do? Uh, you know, just all kinds of different stuff goes through your head. Um, but, you know, I got a lot of great books, a lot of great games. Got you guys, great audience. Really appreciate you. I've got so many games that I want to get to the table before I die. Oh, my goodness. But all I can do is one at a time, right? So... I got VUCA Sims, Knock Paris, that I'd like to get up. I obviously want to finish my Unconditional Surrender game. I don't know that I'll play the whole campaign. But what I mean by finish the series for the channel. So I at least want to get through Amphibious Invasion of Norway. You know, get somewhere into Barbarossa. We'll see. I'm having a good time with it. Um, so we'll keep doing that. Um, I've been really hankering for some old Avalon Hill stuff, 1776, which I've never played. Um, I got some great stuff from Legion uh, that I'm not selling. I was able to, looks like, acquire a copy of Raid on St. Nazaire, which I sold, but now I got it back. Knock on wood, thanks to the kindness of somebody, uh, Scott Settlemeyer, I think it was. Sorry, Scott, if you watch this and I blew it. Um, but I'm going to be getting right on St. Nazaire back in the collection and hope I get to do that. Um, Victory Games Fleet. You know, have you ever had that dilemma where you're like, man, I got so many good games. What do I play? What do I want to do? you look at them and you study the rules and you're just like, I, you know, I got to tell you, for me, horror gaming is such a joy. It just has brought me so much worthiness over the years. Um, you know, so, oh my gosh, what can I say? What can I say? I just hope that I can stay healthy enough and keep playing for a while. That would be nice. Um... I got some, you know, I talk about thinking about games with old classics. Uh, uh, oh, Sound of Drums, Isle Al, I'm waiting for my collector's one to show up. Uh, Uwe was nice enough. 
course, you know, the, I got a pre-production copy. Uh, my goodness. So much goodness. This really is turning into a ramble, isn't it? Uh, hoping uh, I'm going to have a couple of special trips down memory lane, hopefully in the next day or two for you on the channel. Um, I really don't want to waste your time. I'm sitting here looking up at my collection. I got Caesar at Elysia staring me in the face. GDW's White Death. Avalon Hill Alexander. SPI Invasion America. Man, I got some good stuff, don't I? I just have some stuff that just is like, play me. Um, Derwalt Creek, OCS, Second World War, Lock and Load. I got Lock and Load. I like Lock and Load. I know they're getting a lot of flack right now, but hopefully they'll actually, you know, I have faith. I think Dave's, Dave's a good, they're good people. Stuff will come out, knock on wood, right? Um, oh boy, uh, let's see, was that a deck too? I hope it was, I think it was. Uh, Decision Games Remake, Battle for Stalingrad, Compass Games, The War. Man, I gotta get off my butt. I And I need to, um, get into my books. There's so many good books. Hunters from the Sky. German Parachute Corps. I don't know if this is a good book, but see, like, this is just some of the random shit I got. Look at this. This looks like a pretty short book. What's the copyright on this? Hunters from the Sky. The German Parachute Corps, Corps 1940 to 1945 by Charles Whitting. 1974. I'm going to have to do a video on some cool books, I guess, huh? Just to see. Oh, look at this. Isn't this why you got into wargaming? Huh? I know for me it is, man. Those history books. Tactics 2, of course, drew me in. What's some other random stuff I got here that I haven't read? I got From Salerno to the Alps, A History of the Fifth Army. That reminds me, I got that wonderful game, Anzio. Look at this, Nelson at Traf Traf Trafalgar. Isn't that cool? God, I got so much good stuff here. Mark, it's not fair you got cancer, buddy. You got a lot of stuff to get done. Oh, man, my books, my games. You know, I love you guys. What can I say? Man, this is a hefty book. From Salerno to the Alps. A History of the Fifth Army. These are just like, I, I like literally was sitting in front of me. I got some newer books on Pearl Harbor. I got Spearhead, which probably isn't really new anymore, but it's a... Uh, not that old. Tigers are burning. Cursed. Everybody knows I'm in the death ride. Oh, boy. Well, it's about 2 in the morning. Um, I already wasted 8 minutes of your time. I'm going to have to get a little more focused, I think. What book's this? Let's look. I still got some monster games. Oh, this was recommended by my... Uh, and a good friend, Paul. It's, uh, I can't read it backwards, can you? Line Upon the Wind, The Great War at Sea, 1793 to 1815. Man, I love my books. God, I love these things. Anyways, thanks for watching. Fireside Chat. I'll try to get something a little more focused next time. I'm honestly just happy that I was able to do a video here. Um, Stalingrad through German eyes, the battle for Hamburg. Oh my goodness. I got some good stuff here. Really need to get reading. Anyways, thank you. Next time you see me, hopefully I'll be shaved, get my hair done. Eh. 
I'm going to try to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, gonna, I, I'm still awake. I need to I get to go spend a little bit of time with my son tomorrow and hang out, knock on wood. And um, Anyways, we'll see you all soon. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for joining me on my quick fireside chat. Talk soon. Bye.